Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cantorio Boss to Survive. Today we are checking out the Dream Sword from the Sword of Dreams mod. Parentheses, strongest sword ever. It does a lot of damage as we can see, and it says you feel compelled to kill. I always feel that feeling, but not like in real life. But yeah, as you can see, we got negative numbers. That's always a good sign, I believe. So let's get to it. Let's bring out the beautiful King Slime. What's up, King Slime? Dead. Let's bring out the not so beautiful Eye Cthulhu. Dead. All right, Queen B, let's get to it. Boom. Let us go ahead and take on the Bach, also known as the Brain of Cthulhu, of course. Let's see. Let's rip through all the eyes quickly. Bam. That was nice and easy. The sword has insane swing speed. And I don't know if it just has it normally or if Omni Swing is helping out. You know, I always have Omni Swing installed. It's a great mod. Honestly, Terraria should have a workaround. Vanilla Terraria should have a workaround for, you know, people that have like wrist problems and stuff. So they don't have to spam click weapons that need to be spam clicked all the time. You know, it's just it's just my opinion there especially since i do have wrist problems myself sometimes and it's not really fun having to click all the time luckily 1.4 modding is finally out so you know the days of that are over all right but we did kill the eater super fast right there that might be one of the faster eater kills you love to see it the sword is showing off potential all right lepus and turkor let's get both of them done at once beautiful you know i was testing you guys in the last video and you guys kind of failed that test now maybe like gamer does what do you mean we failed that test there's a certain boss i didn't spawn in the last video and i think it's the first time ever that people did not notice that i did not spawn in that boss which is insane and you may be like gamers what, what's the boss well i don't really know if it's actually considered a boss but it's much like the dungeon guardian except for it's from the calamity mod it's a enemy that we usually test because it's really strong and that is the idol on worm and i didn't do it in the last video and when i was editing the video i was like should i re-record me doing it because i missed the idol on worm and i thought about it and i'm like nah let's see if people will catch me missing the eidolon worm and i don't think there's a single comment on that video as of right now that says that i missed the eidolon worm so all you people that always try to call out like oh you missed this you missed that you failed you all failed and now you have to live with that i am disabling comments on that video too so you have to live with it forever it's honestly crazy how close we are to a 1.4 world hold up i gotta think about it now should i just wait for 1.4 to be fully out so i don't have to like you know make a world in 1.3 and then transfer it over to 1.4 i'm talking about t mod loader 1.4 we have the alpha it's ready to go but obviously not everything's out for the alpha uh in terms of modding in terms of just additions to the alpha in general so i'm thinking like should i just wait for like a full release version and then make the new world for this series or should i just make one now and then we could transfer it over i don't know what would be the better option you guys let me know because honestly both options probably would work fine but you know i kind of do want to make it a 1.4 world because it's 1.4 but yeah we we are very close to being able to switch over to like fully 1.4 we just need a couple more mods to release for them uh some mods you know we could deal with that we don't really need thorium to update calamity i think is one of the ones we for sure need to update for me to move on to 1.4 for this series but uh we're pretty close we're pretty close obviously we need act death and stuff okay maybe we're, maybe we're not that close in terms of this series being transferred over but maybe i could change up the recipe a little bit and by changing up the recipe then boom yeah maybe we are actually that close if i just don't include some bosses that we usually include all right duke fish ron duke fish gone get his ass out of here on to the next bosses here martian saucer oh he kind of took some hits had to knock off all the other parts he still died pretty quickly though let's go ahead let's take on the dutchman dutchman yeah we are gonna have to break all the cannons let's go ahead let's get the ogre and betsy out of here too why not jump a little bit higher just jump a little bit higher and i can hit him okay i'll, I'll come down to you he was about to jump higher though he was charging it up betsy boom right into me all right we have three bosses right here let's knock them all out at once you love to see that super satisfying top 10 satisfying things in terraria number one you know what number one is getting warding or whatever reforge you're looking for on your first attempt now that's the satisfying thing right there that might be the most satisfying thing honestly or getting like a drop you're trying to farm for on the first try Woo! that's the type of thing to make you bust all right i'm gonna do the thorium bosses now why not let's change up the order a little bit oh beautiful nice gore explosion in my ear dream eater bam we chilling over here with the boys. They make an appearance today. Get them out of here. Let's just start swinging. Get the cultists out of here immediately. And then, of course, let's speed run. Let's speed run. I'm going for top tier speed run. One of the fastest runs, maybe. No, actually, we've had some really fast ones. 
in the past i wonder if anyone's actually like kept track of how fast i've done those because you know some of them some of them are pretty fast that one was actually pretty fast but i'm i'm positive there's faster ones all right while we wait for moon lord we will fight akram boom don't crash my game oh game is frozen just give it a second i hope there you go it took a long time but it did actually work i want to get that top eye right away boom i got it nice we're gonna get that right eye maybe hold up i'm not teleporting oh i forgot rod discord like just straight up doesn't work with all the mods i have installed because they nerf them to hell like you know it's bad when the rod of discord won't even let you teleport period <laughs> Because all the mods I have installed are nerfing it. Usually you can teleport, you know, you'll lose your life for it. But no, the mods I have installed won't even let me use it. All right, let us take on the mutant. Boom, what's up, bro? Uh, this might be a little bit tough. Okay, I missed the swing. He'll come to us, right? Please come over here. I just, I just want to move on to the next boss. There we go. This weapon has done great so far. I'm honestly impressed. Let's get to the real test, though. Damn it, I didn't have my sword out. All right, don't we? You wrap back around. Uh oh did i speak too soon i think i spoke too soon i think my praising of the sword came too soon it was doing so good up to this point but this is usually where a lot of weapons i guess fail makes sense honestly all right it's all good it's all good unless i want to sit there and do that for like 10 minutes we're probably not going to be killing dog we might as well test the second form of course second form okay on to Yarin. i'm actually interested to see will we kill it probably there is a chance that was good damage. May not be an insta kill, but it was good damage. Big good damage is still respectable. May not be an insta kill. It may not be like an enemy deletion or boss deletion from the game, but it's still respectable. All right, phase two. And he's gone just like that. All right, on to Supreme Cow. I feel like we already know the answer for Supreme Cow, but no i'll do it anyways look at that. supreme cow is actually like in the arena for once that's surprising all right sepulcher where are you you never know okay now you know we're actually doing like good damage to sepulcher though like look at the health the health is actually moving hold up how did that work i, I really don't know how we killed sepulcher but then we do like zero damage to supreme cow herself so i have no idea to be honest that's uh, very interesting i've never seen that happen before on to the next boss then all right we're back here had to refresh the world because i didn't feel like killing supreme cow any other way let us fight the eidolon worm i do not think we will kill the eidolon worm but you know might as well try anyways you never know i killed sepulcher so you never know okay wait hold up i, f I have i have a feeling if i could actually just like hit it come back here Okay, I'll hit you in your tail then. No, the tail doesn't count. If I actually can hit it, no, nah, never mind. No, we're not doing that much damage. Cause I, I don't know. I just, I just have a little extra hope. I killed the sepulcher, so maybe the eidolon worm is killable. It might take a while. I kind of don't feel like sitting here and doing that. Okay, you win this time. All right, we'll fight the uh, Ugandan knuckles, and then we'll fight Act Death to end it off. We don't need to fight Bill or anything else. Honestly, I feel like this weapon has kind of taken the L here at the end. It's all good. It still surprised me by killing the sepulcher. Uh, it it also did kill yarn but oh okay <laughs> i think we might have our answer for ekda but let's see you never know you never know we could be surprised what in the hell is going on in this episode we killed ekda we could do it multiple times left side right side it doesn't matter okay I, i'm just completely like baffled i'm speechless i don't know what to say this episode but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video this sword the dream sword has honestly impressed me it's such a unique weapon in terms of what it killed what it accomplished and what it didn't accomplish i honestly don't have any words for it it actually has a pretty cool looking sprite too so i don't even need pudis to like fix it up so like that's a plus but yeah make sure you guys check out the mods in this video shout out all the mod developers make sure to keep on leaving more op weapon suggestions i'm slowly starting to knock out some of them but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all next time